Welcome to 826 South Street, the current home of Isaiah and Julia Zagar. The Zagars purchased this building in 1984, but they lived in another building they owned for a year while the building was renovated. Initially, the Zagars occupied the top floors and had a commercial tenant on the first floor. The large stained glass window in the front was originally a standard glass shop window. Isaiah created the current faux stained glass to give the family more privacy when they started using the first floor as living space. He used a stained glass technique taught to him by Ricky Bascarino, the creator of the art environment Luna Park in northern New Jersey. Inside the house, architect Hans Igle designed the light-filled addition that serves as the Zagar's dining room. Isaiah has created mosaics throughout the interior of the building, beginning with hallways and then moving to rooms. It, it wasn't rooms that I started with, it was the hallways. The hallways I started with. Then it was rooms. Rooms were a little bit harder because, you know, rooms are active. Active a lot of the day, a lot of the night, active. But hallways, you know, well, the person passes through and that's it. They're done. He mosaic his son's rooms only after they moved out. They, when they left, that's when I mosaic their rooms, yes. And what about your room? It isn't mosaic. Your room is not mosaic. No. No. So I'm still in it. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> you have to wait until next Right. By the 1990s, Isaiah began embellishing the front facade. The, the, the thing that uh, stimulated me to do the front of the building was that uh, I had uh, I'd finally acceded to his wishes, a man named Dave Serbeck. He had a business of cutting, of cutting tile with a water jet system. And, uh, could cut anything, cut across yeah, a Yeah, he could cut steel, could cut anything. But he, 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 um, he, cut, um, he cut a series of what he called wings that were uh, from thick marble. I didn't know they were from thick marble. He kept talking about his wings, his wings that he wanted to give me. Could have been chicken wings, <laughs> but it turned out to be marble wings. And when I went to see him, uh, it was a stack of them. Oh, there were a lot of them. And he said, uh, how many do you want? I said, I want all of them. And that began a relationship between the two of us so that over the years, which has now continued with the sun. Isaiah has continued to work with Serbeck Waterjet, even having them design custom tiles based on his drawings. Thousands of Serbeck tiles can be found throughout Isaiah's hundreds of mosaics, but this building was the first place he used them. Other notable tiles found on the front of the building include the large blue diamonds, which were created by famed Mexican ceramicist Jorge Wilma, and the large circular tiles created by Monroe Saltworks of Maine. In 2012, Isaiah mosaic the marble stoop at the left entrance to the house because it was constantly being graffitied. He got tired of cleaning it and decided to mark his territory by mosaicing one of his favorite subjects, a dog, onto it. The glass on the front door shows Isaiah's self-portrait in an early version with six arms like the Hindu god Shiva. He later moved to including only four arms, which is the version you see in most of his work now. The door also contains his motto, art is the center of the real world. Yeah, this was my canvas for uh, many years, actually. Maybe 10 years of real intensive canvas. Here at 826 South Street, we see that art truly is the center of the Zagar's world. If you enjoyed this video from Philadelphia's Magic Gardens, consider making a donation of any amount today. 94% of Philadelphia's Magic Gardens budget comes from admissions and other public programs. Go to phillymagicgardens.org and click on support to donate. We miss you and can't wait until we can welcome you back to this magical place. Thank you so much for your support and we hope to see you soon.